guys Hain here and uh, bringing you another tutorial and this tutorial will be on the tentacle effect now this effect you can do a lot of cool things with it it's it's kind of old but not really but you could still use it nowadays and make something cool out of it you could do something with vines or you could do something with um, a grungy type look but it's all up to you so I'm just I'm gonna show you how to do it so first off all you want to do is just get your free hander and you just want to make something cool so I'm just gonna do that and then all you gotta do is just um, get a circle and get a um, a, uh, a sweep nerves and then you just go to your circle and set the radius to 15 like that and then you just want to go to your select both of these by holding control and selecting both and you just want to drag them both into the sweep nerves like that and it's gonna make this tube looking type thing and all you gotta do to make it a vine look is set this a end skill to zero and then you get this cool looking vine effect so all you gotta do is just do that set it behind the logo and then if you want to do it again you just do the same thing so just get your free hand make a shape um, get the circle and then get the uh, sweep nerves, just set the circle to 15, and then drag them both in that, that, set this to zero. See, it took me about probably less than a minute to do that. That's how easy it is. So all you gotta do is do that, and then you can just drag it back. But also, one other thing is, if you notice the axis is all the way over here, but your tentacle is over here, all you gotta do to fix that is just select this L looking arrow thing and then that allows you to move the axis what without moving the vine looking thing so then now if I deselect this the axis are together so then it makes it easier for me to move this and not so stressful so hope you enjoyed the tutorial and uh, please leave some feedback down below of what tutorial you'd like next also follow our Twitter to stay up to date and also leave some feedback on this tutorial so hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial peace